well, after sheltering in the hippie neighborhood by the Gateway of India, near the Taj, Florence Freak stayed, yeah. Well, uh, Eddie takes a motor rickshaw down to the harbor to catch the uh, ferry, to go overnight ferry. There was an alternative, and I'll never take that again, a bus via Pune, pothole roads. <laughs> anyway, so really, the only fun way to go was by what we called the Chillum Ferry, the Hashish Pipe Ferry. Yeah. Yeah, cool way to go. Next morning, Eddie uh, disembarked from the overnight ferry to Pond Jam. Remember, it's his first time in Goa. <laughs> <laughs> And he traveled south to Margo, and then a further 11 kilometers to call the beach, a sleepy backwater, thick with coconut palms. Oh yeah, call the beach, expansive, wide, you know, powdery, beautiful white sand, yeah. Millions of sand crabs skittering across, little holes on the beach, pop down, oh yeah. Uh, Eddie is the first light traveler, I mean, non-native person to ever, like, hang out, stick around. Go for this. Go on, sir. Curious. Uh, hmm, he seems to be settling down. They have never seen heard or read about a hipster. <laughs> um, well, a sympathetic uh, boy uh, suggests to Eddie that he sleep on the porch uh, of an empty house. Uh, okay, another boy, Anthony, invites him into his mother's beachside home. Yeah, the boy, Anthony, his father's off... Uh, it's a going sailor. I mean, they're all over the world, and they go for long periods of time. You know, like 11 months of the year. They're gone, so, you know, it's just him and Mom at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's plenty of room. Mm -hmm. The notion of rent <laughs> never comes up at all. Uh, yeah. The native shelter, Eddie, as... Uh, Common kindness. Uh, well, settling in, Eddie hears the uh, faint uh, noise of a motor car, and uh, he becomes anxious. He's afraid. He might get beat up by the natives. That's the only white foreigner in the whole state of Greater Go, not residing in a hotel. Yeah, he feels extremely conspicuous. Hmm. Well, to these uh, Goans on Culver Beach, uh, Eddie's humble, minimalist lifestyle, well, that's unprecedented for a white man. Uh, yeah, they view Eddie as a rather poor, uh, middle-aged guy uh, who mysteriously dances with himself on the beach when listening to ragas. Uh, the police drop by, I mean, and inquire, uh, Eddie, are you a spy? <laughs> Eddie re replies, what am I spying on? Sky? You know, Arabian Sea? Sand crabs? Well, I'm spying on them. Hmm. Well, you know, the going fishermen, they get used to it. Uh, and uh, Eddie mellows out. He's no longer afraid he's going to get assaulted for being, you know, uh, so different uh, from anybody else. And he relaxes <sighs> in this tropical beach out in the middle of nobody's ever heard of it. Uh, fascinated by the world of those sand crabs. Uh -oh. He reposes <laughs> under a palm tree listening to his battery-powered radio and rejoicing 
that he has attained ultimate freedom. <laughs> Truth sinking in, huh? Watching those sand crabs. Uh, yeah, uh, with his nest egg from his divorce settlement with Gwen, we're talking 14,000 bucks. Still got 13 of that left. He can just live off the interest uh, for the rest of his life and be free <laughs> from Western civilization. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, Eddie, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sinking in. True freedom. For the first time in his life, huh? Well, uh, the go and see Eddie is handsome. Mm -hmm. Somewhat thin. Uh, a gentleman who seems content and harmless. Uh, with his black goatee and a wavy black Armenian hair, bronze skin. Uh, well, he almost looks Portuguese. In fact, he's a good guy to live with. Uh, Eddie sweeps the floor. I think to report about, uh, you know, in his world, Eddie smokes hashish, wanders uh, the beach, listens to classical Indian ragas on the radio, you know, dances, scat sings, uh, plays with the native children. And, he recalls, look, whenever I burn a piece of hashish uh, to roll up a joint, you know, crumble it up, uh, the kids come over like, what's that? <laughs> what are you rolling in that cigarette? Well, something to make it a little stronger. Yeah. Well, during this winter, uh, the sailor owner of the house, he remains at sea, and Eddie does not see another white person <sighs> for three uninterrupted blissful months. Oh, yeah. Oh. After that dark year of the fugitive, oh.